wildlife, ladies and gentlemen. The wildlife. What's going on, Tubes? Today is Monday, the beginning of the work week. Yep, unfortunately it's that time. Um, you know what kills me? What kills me is how a company has has kept something going for so long and then all of a sudden they decide they wanted to up and change it. One of my coworkers today tells me that, uh, well, he doesn't just tell me, he's, he's telling more than one person, but I just happen to be standing there. And, uh, you know, our, our cell, well, I ain't gonna say it's the only cell phone company that's around here, but it's like one of the major ones, which is U.S. Sailor. And, uh, you know, they've, they've had their, fair share of problems excuse me I just got through finished eating and got in indigestion but anyway they've had their fair share of problems and one of those major problems was they you know they obviously they have all of the customers information in the computer system and they just fouled all that shit up or whatever and ended up double charging people and saying people were late on their bill and it just a big stinking song and dance of stupidity so yeah but uh but anyway what he was talking about was basically they were going to uh do away with their rewards program and the rewards program if you don't un if you don't know or never heard of nothing about it it's pretty much that if you signed up for it and you had a contracted account or whatever as you paid your bill on time and you know in full and so on and so forth you would get a certain amount of, of reward points for being a, lo a loyal customer well those points you can turn around and take and buy different things with you know as far as cell phone cases and accessories and um, you could put it towards a new cell phone if you were eligible to do so and it kind of helped out a lot of people and now they're saying that the people the customers chose to do away with it do you are you fucking kidding me? Really? I don't think so. I don't. I don't think that they, they that the customers chose to do away with it. That just didn't. That seems kind of corny. Because why would paying customers who paid their bill on time all of a sudden just turn right around and say, "Oh, we don't want this anymore. We want something else," and you're no longer going to get your free shit with using your points. So. Yeah, that's kind of lame. So apparently they're going to discontinue it close to like the end of the year, which would be like September or so. I mean, so, you know, if, if you were, uh, if you were already recollecting those points, what points you already have, you're still going to be able to build on unless you claim the points now and use them for like cases or another phone or what have you. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of disappointed. I've been a long term customer for quite a many years and now all of a sudden they just want to throw a cock in the program so to speak. I'm sorry if you guys hear a lawnmower in the background. I come in this building here because it seems to be the only quiet, the most quiet spot that I could possibly record in. And, uh, you know, without being a whole lot of background noise. And trust me, this phone picks up every 
freaking sound there is. But I come out here so it's a little bit quieter. But I can't help if somebody's cutting their grass and it's not even fully spring yet, you know what I mean? <laughs> it it sounds like it about cut off just then. I guess it's a long more. I haven't even looked, honestly. Like it. Like they just started. Literally, like as soon as I hit the button to record, they started. How ironic, huh? Oh, plenty may have stalled it out. <sighs> what else is going on today? Well, I did ride around. Uh, when I came home on my lunch break or whatever, because I stayed within like five minutes of my job. I, uh, I pick and choose different routes to come, and it just so happened that I ended up going down a way that I you know, normally wouldn't go if I were just going to go and come like I normally would. But uh, I chose a different route, and I ended up finding that old bed frame to add to the to the scrap metal corner I have going on over here and I mean I've, I've got some other stuff behind me behind this wall right here but it's just a bumper and like an old rocking like a, um, a recliner chair frame and like the springs and stuff like that I really want some big stuff I'm tired of like getting all this little crap but beggars can't be choosy and uh i'm thinking i'm thinking that i'm going to accumulate as much as i can between now and the beginning of summer and then go and cash it all in and see what i get i hope it's a good amount because my goal for the metal itself what i'd love to be able to do is to buy a new set of wheels for my truck with scrap metal yeah if I can get up if I could get up like maybe let's just say $800 worth of damn scrap metal well that would only be putting me maybe having to pay a couple of hundred bucks or so out of pocket and I might be able to swing getting a set of wheels and tires might I'm not saying that I will, but I might because we have a couple of places here around here around this area that does rim and tire sales. <clears throat> and I'm not saying that they would be like brand spanking new. <clears throat> oh wow, excuse me guys, I'm sorry. But uh I mean they would be new to the truck but it wouldn't be like brand spanking new. But I mean even even if I could get still, even if I could get like eight hundred bucks for this stuff that's technically free money that I didn't even have to pay for. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'm I'm trying. I'm busting my ass at it as hard as I can go to damn get as much as I possibly can collect. And I may still collect thereafter. There's no telling. I've got a few things that I want to do. I want a trailer, like a maybe like a. Uh, five by eight or something like that maybe with some small walls on the sides and front and back or like a, like a ramp on the back or something like that um, big enough where I could put my ride mower on and take it to get it serviced like well not serviced but if it had any problems as far as drivability and functionality and shit like that Big enough to put it on without having any problems. But I'd also like to be able to use it to go and collect stuff and big stuff, not small stuff, big stuff. But I'll take what I can get while I can get it. Now, as far as me making videos on YouTube, um, 
you know, I, I'm kind of torn between what I should do because there were some videos that I put up or whatever that technically wasn't even mine. I mean, you know, they, I took the time to take the video to, to well, it's not technically a video, it's just like a, a, an image with music. And a um, particular guy that I was, not I can say I was doing it for him, I was doing it for myself, but it was getting the music out there, that way it would bring more people to him. So I guess it was benefiting two parties. But, you know, doing songs over and over and over again kind of gets boring. And then you, then you got to worry about copyright notices. When I'm doing this stuff right out here with me, there is no notice because it's 100% made by me. You know, it's it's not something that somebody else has already done and did while I'm the one who's doing it now. You know what I mean? But uh, I'm trying my best to get up subscribers. I'm trying my best to get ratings as far as a thumbs up. I'm trying my best to get people to comment. Seems like nobody wants to talk. I mean, you know, I've got one guy who, who every now and then he'll talk or whatever, but he can't do it all. And I only have, as of last night when I looked, I only had like maybe 163 subscribers. And I'm not saying that that's bad, but it could be better. Um, there's going to be some car shows coming up. I'm not going to take my truck to them to show, but um, I'd like to get out there and take some footage of the shows or whatever and put them up. People seem to like them a little bit, like seeing different things and different cars and I guess kind of like trying to, oh shit, excuse me tired I didn't sleep good last night but uh anyway as I was saying a lot of people you know see ideas and stuff like that and they can kind of compare what they have and what they could do and borrow ideas I suppose and that's fine you know nobody nobody really has any problem with that obviously not if you if one person goes out there and takes like a I don't know, a 76 Caprice and puts it on 32s. Well, somebody else is going to do a 76 Caprice and put it on 32s. As long as it's not identical, nobody cares. But, uh, yeah, I want to get out and do some, some, some car show videos when I can. It's all about time. Everything is all about time. And unfortunately, time is limited when you have so many different things going on, so many things that needs to be done. Like I've got like, let's see, one, two, oh, sorry, one, two, three, like five projects five small projects I'm not gonna say they're big but they've got to get done and they're not gonna they're not gonna do themselves but like and like I said you know as I do these projects I, I'm probably going to add some footage in or whatever and uh, one of the particular projects is a little ditch bridge and um, as I'm discussing these or whatever, I'll throw in like a little snippet of video to show what I'm talking about. But it's a ditch bridge, um, the old exhaust pipe that came in for our old water heater, which was gas. It's, it's now electric, so I've got to take that pipe out of the roof and patch the hole. Um, 
you guys have seen inside this building as far as me wanting to do some some gravel and put some gravel on this floor or whatever and the uh i've got a little wooden building behind this one right here it needs some work done on it but um pretty much other than that those are about the only small projects going on bigger projects would be trying to get the the uh the building itself from behind me extended back five feet um i have called and called and called and called and contacted and emailed and whatever a bunch of places that puts these kind of buildings together and nobody seems to want to do the the addition and only a few of them will actually sell the metal to do it and uh, I mean it's all all it is is sheet metal and screws sheet metal screws and sheet metal that's all it is but uh and I probably could do it but it's it's not a project that you would take over by yourself but I really sorry I apologize for doing all this yawning and if I light one up it'll wake me up a little bit kids don't smoke Terrible habit. Don't ever get started. I've been smoking since I was like going on 15. I'm 34 now. I remember the first time that I smoked, it was a Marlboro Light. And uh, the guy who got me kind of started on it was a guy named Jeff Cockrell when I stayed in Rocky Mountain, North Carolina. And I don't blame him for it. I mean, everybody has their own choices in life to make. And unfortunately, it was a bad one. And I, I know, you know, I, I've kind of, I've kind of seen like a bunch of people, you know, it's not new. It's been out for many years now. But uh, this whole vaping thing, I've been seriously thinking about trying to get into it, but I don't even know where to fucking start. And I don't want to buy no bullshit either. I don't, you know, I've seen where you got like the, the battery operated gizmo itself. And you know, you got different elements and tanks and all that shit. But like I said, I don't even know where to begin. So if anybody that watches or whatever has any guidance, please point me in the right direction. Tell me what to do. Because you think about it. A pack of cigarettes is like $5 and some odd cents. And if I could spend 60 bucks on, you know, one whatever the hell you think you, you know whatever the damn thing is called and maybe buy like some juices or whatever with like minimal nicotine in them and not having to damn you know puff in all this bullshit to send this tobacco wrapped paper wrapped cancer stick you know what I mean But anyway, I'm gonna walk around and uh, take a few little snippets of video of all these items that I was talking about. And I uh, think I'm gonna call it a day. Get up in the house, relax. And it's just this 6.45, stay up till about 10 or 11 or so, take the dog out, take a shower, go to bed. Sounds like a plan. 
but anyway like I said I'm gonna walk around and get some uh, little video of this shit that I'm talking about and add it into this but anyway you guys stay out of trouble be cool stay groovy later